everybody kind of knows why we're here today is uh, a guy by the name of Jay Sterling Morton um, had this great idea of planting trees in Nebraska because Nebraska did not have a lot of trees when he, him and his family moved to from Illinois to Nebraska. And uh, he found that having trees preserved the, the environment. They, you know, uh, erosion, stopped erosion, was healthy for everybody to breathe fresh air. Uh, wind breaks was a big thing because there were so much, so many big winds in Nebraska. So why not plant a big shelter belt and stop some wind and protect your protect your homestead? I found a a, a poem by uh, May B. Bryant, and it's Sweet Arbor Day. We greet you with a merry song of spring. We plant our trees in ivory for the future's welcoming. May they grow and flourish long, give shade and beauty to the throng that shall come in summer heat for shelter to their retreat. Sweet Arbor Day, we greet you as we did in days gone by. Happily we plant for others shade beneath the sunny sky. May they grow and flourish long, give shade and beauty to the throng, for that shall come in summer's heat, for shelter to their retreat. This tree is a fall fiesta sugar maple. It's one of the newer varieties of sugar, sugar maples. It's a faster growing sugar maple. It has better color, less disease resistant. Um, it will turn yellowish orange to red in the fall and it holds the color. So someday when this tree, we have a few down at the Arboretum right now called the S's and I, it's one of our biggest trees we have comments from people about when it starts to fall color because they're like, wow, what is that tree? It's so beautiful. It's orange, red, yellow. It's beautiful. And now they're starting to get big and really looking, they're looking nice. So um, I thought, well, this, this part doesn't have a lot of color in the fall, so let's start putting some colorful trees in this, this area. 